Let's say you added data in your Excel worksheet within one column only. We get it. Data collection and managing different columns all together can be difficult at times, especially for a huge data set. So you might want to convert your entries into multiple columns to create a presentable table. Let's help you with that. Hello there, this is Fari Hatulmim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forums, templates and VBA related answers. We have a data set that contains information about first and last names of students along with their IDs and scores. From this, we will learn how to create a table in Excel with multiple columns. We will discuss two methods using Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. In this method, we will convert our data from this one column to a table within the range of D4 to G10. Let's select it first and let's use a formula in the formula bar equals offset tab. It will bring us rows and columns according to a reference. Here our reference is B4. Let's make it constant using F4 key comma for rows value we will add columns function tab here our array will be d4 let's use column and d4 let's make the first d4 absolute so that the references within columns change as we change our cell references minus one will get us the exact column number here we can see d4 to d4 it gets one column plus rows tab here our array will be fourth row let's make absolute so that the row reference changes as we change the rows within our formula minus one let's use another parenthesis for rows because we are going to multiply this along with four so that every time the value increases by four and due to multiplying by four the formula can get back to the next row comma zero as in column reference closing parenthesis now press Control enter and we can see that all our selected cells are autofilled you can manually use fill handle tool to copy these cells as well starting from d4 upon selection of this entire data set let's insert a table go to insert tab and from the tables group click on table or go along with keyboard shortcut ctrl t cross check the reference and make sure to put a check mark on this box so that our table has headers as in our first row of selection okay here since our headers are added using formula we are getting this warning so we want to continue to convert this formula to static or plain text yes and we can see that our column is converted to table now let's select our first row and go to home tab from the font group change the fill color let's say this one it's looking better right in this method we will use power query tool to create a table with multiple columns select any cells within the column go to data tab and from the get and transform data group click on from table or range here cross check the reference of the cell we can see that it's selected as our column goes make sure there is no check mark on this box click on ok it will direct you to power query editor window here go to add column tab and from the general group click on index column drop down click on from zero Repeat the process till we get total three columns. There are three columns. Now we will divide the third column. Select the column and go to transform tab from the number column group. Click on standard drop down. Choose modular. On the dialog box, type four since we want four columns in total. Okay. Now go to add column tab. From general group, 
choose custom column. On the custom column dialog box, let's paste a formula. We have copied it from the article that has been linked in the description box below. Now we can see here that if index.1 which is our third column is 0, then it will add first name. The third column gets the value of 1, then it will show us last name. If this column shows us 2, then it will return us ID. If none of them matches with the value of index.1, it will get us the return of marks percentage. Click on OK. Now we can see our formula is implemented here. Now we will duplicate our second column. For that, click on the second column. Go to Add Column tab and from the General group, click on Duplicate Column. Now click on this new column which is Index Copy. From the Add Column tab and from Number group, click on Standard Dropdown. Here, choose Divide Integer. In this dialog box, Integer divided by 4. So that every time our index values get 4, it will start counting from 0 and our custom formula can be implemented more easily. Click on OK. Now let's select column 2 and using control key choose 3 and 5. Now we will remove them. Right click on any of them. Click on remove columns. Now go to home tab from the reduce rows group. Click on remove rows drop down. Select remove top rows. Let's type 4 since we want our first four rows to be removed. Okay, now we can see our first four rows which had the titles are removed. Now click on the second column which is custom. Go to transform tab, any column group, choose pivot column. From this dialog box, go to advanced options and from the aggregate value drop down, choose don't aggregate. Okay. We can already see our table. Now select first column which is integer division. Now we don't need it, right? Let's right click on it and choose remove. Now go to home tab and here choose close and load. Now we can see using Power Query we have received a table with multiple columns. For better visual, let's go to view tab to unselect grid lines. It looks better, right? Also, we can see that our source data set is converted into a table of one column. From these methods, you can choose any of them according to your convenience. You can practice this with the help of Excel file in the description box below. Let us know if you were able to do it in the comment section. Share your suggestions and feedback as well. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Like and share the video if it helps you. Thanks for watching.